going everyone? Welcome to Live to Learn. This is Doug Montezella and thanks for joining in for another episode of Lessons Worth Sharing. Today I have the pleasure of having Melvin Berrios on and he's got a couple life lessons for us that he's willing to share. So with that being said, I'll let him introduce himself. Okay. Thank you Douglas. Uh, my name is Melvin Berrios Soto. I come from Puerto Rico. I study chemical engineering and also work in the same company as Douglas with ExxonMobil. Working with ExxonMobil for three years so far and today I'm um, here with Douglas and just to take some time to talk about a few of the life lessons that I learned so far from the transition from being a student and working three years with ExxonMobil. And the first point I would like to talk with everybody and share with everybody is the importance of self-discovery. Uh, when I was in college, my, I guess my four years that I spent studying, I focused really on the academic stuff and being really technical and learning how to be a good chemical engineer. I never focus on myself as far as what do I really like, what do I really enjoy, what do I really feel passionate about and how can I combine my career together with my passions. And this, um, I can share now that when I started working at ExxonMobil, those questions started coming up and I do notice now that I was really a person that enjoyed a lot of the interactions with people and also working together as a group. I really enjoy working and mentoring people and also have a lot of, a lot of, you can say variety, you know, and not, not always focus on one thing at a time. And as I worked with ExxonMobil those, those first year, I really went through that sort of self-discovery that I wish that when I was in college, having my, when I was at least before graduating, I, I asked those questions because I do notice that people that assume that sooner you start going through that self-discovery process, the sooner you start experimenting and knowing yourself better, you can direct your energy towards those things and then find ways to combine maybe your career, your passions, your hobby, all together to, to something common and then you can be more successful in that aspect. So for me that's something that's really important that I want to make to point, to point out to you. So for any young professionals, any students, if you are currently maybe still in doing your, your bachelors, Try to step out of your of what you're currently doing. You know, try to look outside the box. Try to figure out what do you really enjoy, what do you really like, and if you like, for example, uh, mentoring, if you like outreach, community activities. Trying to look for organizations or any sort of, of of group of people that like to do that, and trying to come up with ways. For example, uh, if you like doing that, what I just mentioned, there's a organization like Engineering Without Borders that you can get involved where you can combine your engineering degree with community outreach, which is just something uh, that I'm interested in right now, and that I think that it, it, it is, is something that can combine your degree and what, with something that you feel passionate about. Uh, so that's one, one of the things that I want to point out. The other thing is also, if you start working on whatever workplace that you decide to do, it's important as a young professional to um, establish a good relationship with your peers and also with the person that is leading your career. Uh, and in our cases, our section heads, it's important to be honest with them, to be, uh, be what the word is, assertive uh, with your expectations, what are your goals in the future of your career. So that way, when you make decisions, career move, or any sort of also personal decisions, you can plan ahead and do better in informative decisions on whether you want to move to another location, whether you want to switch roles or not. And that applies pretty much to, I guess, every career that you um, participate or that you decide to take on. So th those are, again, so discovery uh, moments that I have. Uh, the third, the third one that I can mention too is the part of getting a mentor. It's super important to always have a mentor, have somebody who has gone. It could be five years, ten years ahead, but try to find someone who can easily relate to your needs and to what are you going through, um, what sort of situation you are right now, if you are in your first year in your job, or you are doing this role for the first time, try to look for somebody who has at least some five or four experience, four years of experience in that, in that role. Because that person can provide you so much, so much information that is just key for you to, to it will be key for you to just speed things up, to make decisions more faster and more effectively and also decision that will benefit you the best. They can orient you, they can understand what you're going through and they can relate and give you concrete examples of how to do things better. So those are three things that I I have uh, currently, um, I guess, discovered and I'm currently applying on myself. 
and they are currently helping me also a lot as far as my career, as far as what are my expectations for the future and me planning ahead. Awesome. I like that mentality of not, of understanding you're in school but thinking about the, that bigger picture and understanding that okay I like doing this but what really brings me passion and happiness as, in addition to what I'm working on mm -hmm. and having that mentality and thinking that way will help you have more productive conversations with your section head so that's definitely interesting insight and I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. Take care, guys. Thanks for listening.